So with each you get two different versions. You're getting an iMac and desktop version and then you get a laptop version. So I'm working on a iMac so I'm going to choose iMac. You choose the one that you need. And then we're going to choose the one with writing. And here I'm just going to look through the ones that I want to use. So now I have the one I want to use and I'm just going to download it. And then I'm going to click OK. Now it comes up in my preview. And on that drop down arrow, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now I have it on my desktop, so I'm going to right click. And I'm going to set desktop picture. So now we're going to edit with PowerPoint. So we're going to choose the version that we want to use, either laptop or um, iMac desktop version. We're going to tap on the PowerPoint. Now you can open this with the Google Slides. Just remember that you won't be able to use the font that's already in the document. So now we're going to download this. And then we're going to open it in PowerPoint. So just tap OK. Now you see it's open in PowerPoint and you have four different selections here. So basically, again, just choose the one that you want. And if you tap on it, You can just type in what you want for that title. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to type in all these. So make sure you have the one you want it highlighted and then we're going to come over to file and we're going to export as. Now here you can change the name and rename it. So I am going to do that. I'm going to just rename it desktop organizer. And then I'm going to make sure I save, I'm saving this to my desktop. And I need to change this from PDF to a PNG so it doesn't lose the quality of the image. Now, if you're on an iMac or desktop, you want to keep your um, dimensions at 1920 by 1080. However, if you are using a laptop, you do need to change this. So if you are using a laptop, change this to 1400 and it will automatically change for you. And again, I'm using an iMac, so I'm going to change it back to 1920 by 1080. Then I'm going to export it. Now I can go over to my desktop and it is right there. So I'm just going to right click and save as desktop picture and that is it. Now adding um, titles in the preview is very, very simple. So we're going to choose the ones with no words. We're going to choose that file folder. And then and again, we're just going to choose which one we want to use. So 
So I think I'm going to use this one. So we're going to go ahead and just tap on or click on download. And it's going to open in the preview app. Now we're going to um, tap on our little markup tool and then the text box tool. And then I'm going to move this over. And here I'm going to widen it. I'm going to type it out first and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to change my font. And again, the description box has the fonts that were used on my desktop. So those are in the description box if you wanted to use those same font that I used. And here I'm just going to hold down Option or Alt to and then use my mouse to drag one over. Now I'm just going to keep doing that. Again, I'm using Option or Alt and my mouse. So I'd hold down first on Option or Alt and then use my mouse to drag it over. Then I'm going to come up and on my drop down, I'm going to tap on that drop down and I'm going to change the title. And then I'm going to change where I'm saving this to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then you're going to see it pop up on your desktop. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. Then again, you're going to right click and then set as desktop picture. All right, if we wanted to use the PowerPoint document, but in Keynote, we would still do the same thing. We just download it. And instead of open with PowerPoint, we'd um, go to other and then we'd open it with Keynote and then tap OK. Sorry about that guys, lost the footage, but we're back now. So this is a different um, desktop organizer, but we're doing the same exact thing we would do in Keynote. We're gonna change out the titles. Now this step is very important. So once you have the one that you selected, you're gonna export to images. Now you need to make sure that you change it from all and you select only the image, you put that number in twice and then PNG, do not do JPEG. And then we're going to make sure that we export this to our desktop, then tap export. And here it is right here. And I just wanted to show you why we did PNG just for the quality of the image. And then we're gonna right click and set desktop picture. All right, now to change out the folders. So we're gonna tap on it and we're gonna download it and you're gonna see that it's zipping the file. So once it is zipped, this is gonna pop up and we're gonna open this in our archive utility, which is our basically our downloads folder. And so there it is right there and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna drag it out and put it in my desktop. So now let's go ahead and open it up and here are all the folders. So I'm going to choose the one that I want to use for this folder and I'm going to choose this one and what I'm going to do now is take my mouse and I'm going to drag this little line box here and I'm gonna make sure I have the whole image inside and then I'm going to on my keyboard um, tap command C I'm gonna do those two together so I'm gonna do command first and then C All right 
Now I'm going to show you how to change the folder. So we're going to right click on this folder and then we're going to select get info and we're going to tap on that or click on that top small folder. And so we need to make sure that the little folder is highlighted and then we're going to push command V to paste it and you see the folder changed. And that is how you change out your folders.